This is my cello, and I know like one song on it. Hey guys, welcome back to Up to Date with Nate. This is Season 2, Episode 5. Welcome. So let's get up to date for this week. As you all know, on Monday was Labor Day, and it was a long weekend. No school for my wife, and um, no school for the kids and stuff, but uh, we had a long weekend. It was really nice. My sister Kirsten came over, because she also had the day off on Monday, and we just had a really good time. We went to Urban Air on Saturday, which is a trampoline kind of jungle gym kind of place. It's targeted for teenagers, but uh, young adults like us enjoy that as well. Uh, Danielle's mom also went, and we had a good time. So if uh, you need something to do in the Boise area, Urban Air, um, you can sometimes find deals on their website. And so, yeah, that was fun. And then on Sunday... Our church announced that uh, our new pastor is going to come. He will be here at the end of the month and taking over. So that is exciting. And uh, we're looking forward to everything God's doing in our church. Also, this week, Danielle and I are involved in a wedding. A couple of friends of ours are getting married. And so on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, I think we've got Uh, wedding stuff this weekend. So this is our second one uh, this summer. Second one that Danielle has been the maid of honor in, so it's kind of busy for her, but uh, we're looking forward to uh, helping our friends get married, and it'll be a good time. Now an update on my business and the album project. So we started in on the second round of recordings last Saturday. So uh, like I said last week, we recorded three scratch tracks. And um, next step is to get the drummer into the studio to uh, lay down some drums for it. So we're excited about that and we're moving forward. At this point, the album is about 15% fundraised. So if you haven't gotten your donations in yet, please do so. And I'm planning on starting the song spotlights during next week's episode. So be sure to tune in for that. Um, It'll be one that some of you know, and uh, I'm excited to share that story with you all. Also, just before I started this episode, I wrote down a list of songs that I am looking forward to arranging and publishing. If you don't know, uh, my arrangements are available on sheetmusicplus.com. If you just uh, go on there and search for Nathaniel Engberg, you should be able to find him. Uh, You can also find links to all of my published work on my website at nateengbergmusic.wixsite.com forward slash any music. I'll leave a link in the description below. The song that I played in the intro for you is one that I'm planning on arranging and publishing in the near future. So if you're interested in an arrangement of Jesus Paid It All, uh, be sure to stay tuned for that as well. And that leads us into our question of the week. So last week I asked you guys What is your favorite Christmas song? Um, I was only able to find two answers from the various places that the video was posted, and uh, they were kind of opposites. So the first answer was Santa Baby. If you don't know that one, I'm not going to sing it for you. And the other one was Mary Did You Know. And I've actually written an arrangement of Mary Did You Know as well. It's not published yet because I believe I need to get permission uh, from the original writer, Mark Lowry, to get it published. But um, that's another thing I need to put on my list uh, to see if I can get that done for you guys. I do have a video up of my arrangement of that song, and you can find it on my YouTube channel, which uh, if you're on YouTube right now, you should be able to find it there. The intro also leads me into our question for this week. So as you saw, I played the cello very briefly in the intro, 
I am not very good at it yet, though. I'm not confident enough to play it with a bow in front of you all. But I still am trying to learn it. So a couple years ago, uh, we had a exchange student uh, named Hung, or we called her Hannah. She was from Vietnam. And she had bought a cello while she was in the States and needed to get rid of it. So I'm like, ah, sweet Christmas present to myself. So I bought the cello, and I've been kind of trying to learn it ever since, but I'm not as good as I'd like to be. So my question for you guys is, what instrument do you wish that you could play? If you've already played an instrument, that's great, but what instrument would you like to be able to play? Cello is just one of mine. Uh, I would also love to play the accordion at some point. That one's like pretty high up there. And I've also always wanted to get better at like a brass instrument. I played trombone for a little bit uh, in a college class and that was fun. So if I do play a brass instrument ever, I'd like to do that one. So again, the question of the week is, what instrument do you wish you could play? Comment below your answer, and I'll be happy to read those next week. If you guys have any questions for me about Nate Engberg music, or this series, or about myself, you can leave those in a comment below as well, or email me at nateengbergmusic at gmail.com, and I'll get those in on the next episode. That'll about wrap it up for today. I know it's a short episode, but I've got arrangements to get to. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a subscribe, and I will catch you all next week. Stay steadfast. Ah, sweet Christmas present to myself.